Hello, hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. Dharma Jones here for another haul. This time I'm going to be trying on clothes that I got in Japan. I just finished posting my Japan vlog trilogy, which was super fun to do, super fun to film and edit and get all the feedback from everyone. So thank you to everyone who's watched those. And I'm excited for whatever other adventures I have coming my way. But anyway, there's lots of clothes to try on today. I also have a few items that I got from when I was in Ventura at a little thrift shop that I found. And I'm going to try out those on as well. So I'm going to get straight into trying things on and not talk too much because we got a lot to do. So let's go. <laughs> so this one is a little more traditional than I'm used to but there's a reason I bought it. First of all, I found this dress in a thrift shop and well, this belt thing doesn't like to stay. So I need to figure out how to make it stay nice and cinched like this because otherwise the dress I think looks weird. But I was at a thrift shop in the Harajuku area of Tokyo, which is where a lot of the like fashion and thrift shops are. And I was instantly drawn to this dress. I thought it was beautiful. It has roses on it. That's my favorite flower. It's like a pinkish burgundy kind of color. And the pattern is so cute. And it's like so 1960s, 1970s, I think, if I'm getting that correctly. And I thought of a fun little scene idea for my other kind of content where I could wear this dress and make a fun little video out of it. So that's why I bought it. I probably won't really wear this in my everyday life because it's a little, uh, yeah, traditional and I'm not really that traditional in my real life. So I do love it. I'll probably end up giving it away to someone someday, but for now, I will use it for a video idea. If you wanted to see the back, it's the back. It's kind of like a long dress. It goes past my knees. Um, I'm not wearing heels right now, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It's super, super pretty and it makes me feel like housewife. So I love that. <laughs> Outfit number three. We have another kind of traditional look going on here. I honestly don't know if my head's being cut off right now in this video because I can't see myself because I, <laughs> I'm filming on the back camera because I guess the quality is better. Um, but I am working on getting a new kind of camera set up. I think I said this another time in a video. Anyway, I got this cute plaid skirt from uh, the thrift store that I got that previous dress from. Did I say outfit number three? I've only tried on one, so this is outfit number two. I'm sorry. Um, and then I got this button-down blouse from Uniqlo as well as this knit sweater cardigan type thing. And I thought it was cute together. Oh, and then these glasses from another thrift shop, which I don't think it was in Harajuku, but one of the other areas in uh, Tokyo. Anyway, I thought this could be perfect for me role playing as a librarian, a secretary, a teacher. I don't know what else. But look at me, I'm a naughty librarian. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. If any of the companies I work for need a naughty librarian, secretary, or teacher, I will wear this outfit and I will slay the role. I'll also add a pair of heels, but I'm not, I can't right now or else my head will get cut off. I'll take this little sweater off. This sweater can be worn more casually as well, like a pair of jeans, which I've done. I love it. So this is what it looks like without it. And I feel so professional, like I'm going to work or something. All right, now we're actually gonna get to outfit number three in just a moment, so bear with me. All right, what do we think of this one? We went from very traditional, classy, dressy, to very casual, and relaxed. I got all of these items from Uniqlo. That store is amazing. They have so many like just basic items 
and I don't mean basic by like bad basic, but basic as in like, you can buy stuff there and just like make outfits out of all these different, all these different clothing items, you know? Uh, so this coat was only like $25. It's so like poofy and comfy, but so warm. Like it's surprisingly warm. And then this long sleeve kind of turtleneck knit top and these knit pants that are super comfortable. I have worn this outfit to do errands a handful of times. And I also wore this outfit to the airport on the way home from Tokyo because it's so comfortable and I could sit on that plane for nine hours and feel good. Love it. And then I've been wearing these awesome shoes, Nikes. Uh, I can't remember, ooh, what's on the bottom of them? My friend that I was with in Tokyo bought a pair and then he was like, I'll get you a pair. So these are my new sneaks. They kind of go with the uh, neutral tones of this outfit. So I've been wearing them a lot as well. I actually might wear this outfit to my dentist appointment that I have to leave for and me pretending to get a watch when I'm looking at my phone. Uh, 30 minutes, I have to leave my house to go to a dentist appointment. So let's get this moving because I don't have much time and I also need to eat before I go. And I was about to take my clothes off in front of the camera, but that would, that would be illegal on YouTube. So hold on a sec. I got to go change and I'll be right back. You like, you like, uh, I feel very like that 70s show in this outfit. First of all, these glasses that I got at the thrift shop. I also got this orange brown top as well. I, I was instantly drawn to this. Everything that I bought in this haul, I was drawn to, and that's why I purchased them. And I think that's my philosophy with shopping, is if I'm iffy about an item, then I'm not going to buy it. Uh, that way, I'm not wasting stuff. I paired it with a pair of jeans that I've had for a while from American Eagle. They're flare, if you can see. I don't know if you can see. Uh, like bell bottom flare, which goes with the 70s look. Maybe I could even put this sweater on, see what that looks like. Look in the mirror over here. Not bad. It's, mm, no, I don't like it. <laughs> nope, not for me. But I do love this top. And um, I've already worn it in a couple of videos and photo sets. All right, we only have a few more outfits and I'm just gonna keep these same pants on with the other shirts so that it goes quicker. But I'll be right back. I just gotta change, okay? Voila, what do you think of this shirt? It is kind of like corset, like not corset, but I don't know how, do, what kind of top is this? I don't know, but it has that like bus, bus steer kind of thing and it's lacy and it kind of looks like lingerie, but it's not. So I see this as kind of like a going out shirt. Not that I go out very much. I don't go to clubs really, uh, but maybe to like a nice, like fun little dinner, you know, here and there, maybe a date night outfit. I don't think I'd wear these jeans specifically with it. I don't think it necessarily matches the vibe. I would probably go for like some holy jeans, those jeans that are holy. And yeah, so I still have to tag on it, but it has like a, a zipper in the back. And it's, it's really cute. I like it. So one day I will wear it <laughs> for some kind of date or dinner with friends. I don't know. We have two more things to try on. Just, just two. I am in love with this white top. It's very free and flowing and comfortable and beautiful with all the ruffles and the buttons and the puffy sleeves. I saw this at a thrift store in Ventura and I was instantly drawn to it like I was saying about the other clothes. It was only like $10, I think. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm buying that. And I've already used it for photos and a video for my sites. And I'm just in love with it. It's kind of like 70s ish vibe. Like it's like that like hippie, free flowing out with the 
the butterflies and the flowers. If I put on my glasses, it makes it look even more like that. The shirt just makes me happy and that's what matters. <laughs> All right, last item of the haul. Are you ready? It might be one of my favorites. It's really cute. So you're gonna wanna stick around to see this last thing. It's a dress. Last item of the haul, look at this. Look at this wondrous emerald green, velvety, puffy, adorable dress. I also found this in Ventura at that same store that I bought the white shirt and then the lacy going out type shirt. I, I love this so much. I also want to shoot a scene in this, maybe kind of like Audrey Hepburn type content. I have someone who tells me I look like her all the time, especially with my hair like this. So I feel like a pretty little princess. I definitely would wear this on a fancier date night. With a pair of like black heels and some jewelry and a cute bag. And that would be perfect. So yeah, the, oh, that's the back. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Ugh. It makes me feel so happy. All of these clothes make me feel happy. And that's what I wanna feel when I buy items. I don't wanna buy items just to buy them for hauls. I want them to be special. And that's why I don't post as many hauls anymore because not that many things get me excited anymore. And I don't wanna overload my closet, which is already happening, and my dresser. So there will be another bikini haul soon, I'm sensing. And the energy. I'm a psychic, so I'm seeing that in our future for Dharma Land. But anyway, thank you for sticking around for this haul. I'm in love with everything, like I said, and I had such a great time in Tokyo. I'm very happy that I went. And if you haven't seen them yet, go check out my three vlogs on my channel that I posted in the last few weeks. They're fun, they're funny. You'll get to see everything that I did in Tokyo. And my food, there's a lady making eye contact with me outside. And that was really awkward. Uh, my food's about to get here, so I gotta eat and then go to the dentist and then go to dinner later. So I have a big, biggie. I have a busy schedule tonight and then tomorrow as well. So happy Sunday. I love you lots. And I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye.